once you get here there's going to be so much to do, so much fun. You can start your day taking a stroll at Trillium Park or at one of our new trails with stunning views of Lake Ontario and the beautiful Toronto skyline. Then head over to the new public marina to enjoy some shopping from local vendors and grab a meal or a cold drink at one of the many new restaurants and bars that our partners at Ontario Live will design and deliver. After that, you can walk or cycle over to the new state-of-the-art Science Center. And by the way, we've been talking about this Science Center for over three years now. Probably the worst, uh, the, the worst kept secret. But uh, John, thank, thank you for that. Yeah, I agree. Where you can explore the latest in interactive exhibits or catch the, the movie at an upgraded uh, Sunnisphere. You can spend an afternoon at Thermae Water Park or just relax on one of the new expanded public beaches. And, and to close it out for the day, enjoy one of the live concerts. I'm sure quite a few of you have already been to Budweiser stage. They're, they're going to have 20,000 other people in the brand new all season amphitheater. And thank you for that to our friends at Live Nation, world class. Friends, we're bringing more to Ontario Place, more green space, more trails, more beaches, and more fun. The new revitalized Ontario Place is a once in a generation opportunity. It will attract between four to six million people. The minister's telling me six, I believe it. Hopefully it'll even be more each and every year. Create approximately 5,000 jobs and be an economic driver for local hotels and restaurants and entertainment venues for decades to come.